and welcome to Ramblin' Rose. Today we're going to be talking to you about strawberries in the home garden. Basically there are three kinds of strawberries. There are June berries, which are the ones that have a big harvest, just one time, probably like early June, right around June. Um, and they ha tend to have a lot of runners. They have the best production, but they also have more runners, so they're a little bit more maintenance. The second kind is ever-bearing. Ever-bearing tend to have one crop in the spring and then another crop in the fall. And then day-neutral fruit kind of throughout the season, and they, they have a lot less runners. Mine happen to be um, June-bearing, and strawberries are perennial, so before you plant, before you make yourself a little strawberry bed, you want to make sure that they're in the right place. Uh, they need a minimum of six hours of sunlight. Ten is better, but six hours. You should keep them well away from trees because they compete for uh, nutrients and water with trees, and in a weed-free area, and in well-drained soil. <clears throat> you might want to do a soil test or add compost before you plant your strawberries, and you want to water them an equivalent of about an inch a week. Um, and something like a, a drip irrigation or ground irrigation is better. And you want to space them about 18 to 24 inches apart to maintain good air circulation. Now this is not a very big strawberry bed as you can see, and I happen to have renovated it just last year. So I don't have very many plants, I won't have a very uh, big crop this year. So we're going to take a look uh, uh, at what the strawberry patch might look like throughout the year. This would never look like this all at the same time, but what I want to show you is when it gets to be uh, fall and the ground is frozen, what you want to do is you want to put about three or four inches of straw or some kind of mulch on them to keep them from winter damage. And I actually have a hack that I really like. In the fall when I'm mulching up um, leaves, I just put a bunch in a bag, and actually these have been here all winter and they're still crunchy and light. They're light and fluffy, and then I can just throw the bag on, and then in the spring I can just take it right off. It's a lot easier than raking. So that's one way to do it. Or you can take your straw off with your rake. Just kind of gently. This would be like uh, April that I would do this. Once you can see greenery underneath, so we do that. The reason why we take the mulch off in the spring, now there's a few reasons. One is that it allows the soil to warm up and dry out. And another is that the sunlight is a natural disinfectant. So it actually helps you um, get rid of some diseases or cut down on diseases in your patch. So I usually leave my strawberries unmulched probably most, I don't know, like eight, late April, early May. And then once they're growing, I do a little weeding, and then I mulch around them again, mulch around the plants. And you want to mulch your plants in the summer because the mulch um, keeps the, the soil cool and moist, and it also guards against any soil-borne diseases that might splash up onto your plants when it rains. So that's kind of how that goes. <clears throat> uh, Throughout the year, throughout the season, the growing season, you always want to look at um, potential weeds in your patch. You also want to look and see if there are any uh, leaf spot diseases and get rid of those leaves. For me, since these are June bearing strawberries, they have a lot of runners. And so eventually, two or three years um, after I clean them out, they end up taking over the whole place. And that's not good because they don't get as much air circulation, more chance of diseases. So. Um, then usually about probably second or third week in May they will flower and then I usually get a, a nice um, crop. I, I'm thinking it's like the end of June, beginning of July, I can't remember. Um, and then, then they just, I get all one crop and then they're done. Um, you can add some uh, compost or organic fertilizer to help your, your plants be healthy. Um, and really, I don't have, the only problem I have in this patch is um, some, I have some leaf diseases. Um, and you can kind of, they're just leaf spots, they don't affect the fruit. Uh, another thing that I occasionally have is called cat facing. It's when the end of the strawberry gets kind of like tough and nubby looking. And that's uh, actually a plant, uh, a, a bug damage. Um, so. You want to, uh, every few years when you renovate your plant, what I do is I dig up everything 
and I keep the most healthy looking plants and I get rid of anything else. I add my compost or fertilizer and then I put the new plants back in place. So that's how it goes in the strawberry bed here. Thanks for tuning in.